Edfu Foundation Inc. is a United Nations recognized Afro Indigenous organization working globally in the USA, Brazil, Bermuda, New Zealand, Australia, Nubia, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Liberia, and England. So we'd like to show you that with a map. We trace our lineage back to Nubia and ancient Egypt, as well as the Olmecs of South America. We would like to show you that in graphics as well. While many of us were forcibly brought to the Americas, some of us were already here living side by side with Native Americans. In fact, our ancestors tell us that we had worldwide trade routes that connected the human family for well over 10,000 years. Until the separation of the human family due to colonization, religious intolerance, and sexism, since the doctrine of discovery and the transatlantic slave trade, when indigenous Africans were kidnapped and forcibly migrated to the Americas as well as Europe, which also led to the enslavement of indigenous Americans and theft of numerous indigenous lands worldwide. This worldwide pandemic of violence, colonialism, and imperialism has morphed over time into structural violence and systematic inequality, which has put humanity in a state of shock manifesting into intergenerational trauma. Intergenerational trauma, as documented by Dr. Joy Leary, the National Center for Biotechnology Information, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, Dr. Farah D. Lubin, the American Psychological Association, among many others, is the transmission of historical oppression and its negative consequences across generations. Centuries of genocide, forced migration, enslavement, followed by systemic and structural violence racism and oppression, including lynching, Jim Crow laws, and unwarranted mass incarceration, have resulted in intergenerational maladaptive behaviors, which originated as survival strategies. The syndrome continues because children whose parents suffer from intergenerational trauma are often indoctrined into the same behaviors, long after the behaviors have lost their contextual effectiveness. This structural violence is a major public health crisis that we at Edfu Foundation are dedicated to combating. The healing of all communities from the intergenerational trauma that they suffer from is paramount for the future progress of the planet. Structural violence refers to systemic ways in which social structures harm or otherwise disadvantage individuals. Institutionalized adultism, ageism, classism, elitism, ethnocentrism, nationalism, speciesism, Racism and sexism are some examples of structural violence. Structural violence is a high cause of premature death and unnecessary disability because structural violence affects people differently in various social structures. It is linked to social injustice. Structural violence and direct violence are highly interdependent, including family violence, gender violence, hate crimes, racial violence, police violence, state violence, terrorism, and war. Therefore, we view violence as public health issue and structural violence as a worldwide health crisis for not just indigenous peoples, but all people. We are dedicated to addressing this violence and healing the subsequent intergenerational trauma that plagues our community, the human family, and affects the entire planet. Edfu Foundation utilizes science and the teachings of our ancestors for the betterment of humanity. Science confirms all humans come from Africa, and all humans have melanin in varying degrees, meaning all humans are different shades of brown. We at Edfu Foundation firmly stand on the tenet that there is only one human race. Therefore, Edfu Foundation firmly supports the UN Agenda 2030, especially the theme of no one left behind. Edfu Foundation Inc. utilizes science and the teachings of our ancestors to improve humanity. We work to reunite our indigenous family throughout the planet and uplift all humanity. We work hand-in-hand hand with our sister organization, the Conservancy Corp, investing in the future of humanity through our programs and advocacy. Our aim is to move our civilization from its current state to that of a Type 1 civilization on the Kardashev civilization scale and beyond in a spiritual, holistic way. Therefore, we seek to eliminate systemic inequalities and structural violence as well as to provide for the public health and improvement of the human condition by addressing these problems specifically, but not exclusively, by the preservation, restoration, and technological advancement of our Afro-Indigenous culture. We aim to encourage, increase, and further community interest in civic, social, and political affairs by designing and implementing systems which work for our Afro-Indigenous community, as well as serve humanity, 
Edfu Foundation brings together organizations, funding, and develops programs which promote a spirit of harmony and prosperity within the indigenous community. Through our efforts of connecting the diaspora and creating safe spaces in which indigenous people are able to positively express themselves and their culture, we instill self-esteem, self-love, and self-worth in people. We advocate internationally through our EcoSoc status in the United Nations and domestically through public and private partnerships with state, city, and local community organizations. We provide training, mentorship, and counseling, which enhance both personal, mental, and moral development to counteract the intergenerational trauma our community has endured. We are dedicated to helping people heal and move forward in a cohesive fashion so that humanity as a whole can move forward. Critical components of community and youth development are that all people will seek ways to meet their basic needs and gain the competencies and skills necessary to move forward in society. Training. All EDFU Foundation programs and initiatives seek to address these two most critical components of development, meeting needs and helping people gain skills and competencies. All people have basic needs critical to survival and healthy development. Our programs purposely address these needs in their program design. If families cannot and communities will not provide positive ways for people to meet their needs, people will strive to meet them on their own and not always in positive ways. As you look at the development needs listed below, think about how gangs answer each of these needs for their members. To become successful adults, young people need a sense of safety and structure, belonging and membership, self-worth, status, and an ability to contribute, independence, autonomy, and control over their lives, closeness and several good relationships, and competence and mastery. It is not the style of clothes one wears, neither the kind of automobile one drives, nor the amount of money one has in the bank that counts. These mean nothing. It is simply service that measures success. George Washington Carver, Edfu Programs and Initiatives, iCenter, provides programs and services that are geared towards STEM education, after school programs, job skills training, certifications, family counseling, legal services, and helping residents of all ages. Success is cultivated through a combination of mindset, confidence, as well as practical skills. We prepare students by providing the technical training, specialized skill sets, certification, as well as the self-awareness they will need to succeed in a future filled with uncertainty. The Bay Area Street Pantry, in alignment with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 2, Zero Hunger. We have created the Bay Area Street Pantry to provide food for the financially distressed, homeless, and displaced in the Bay Area and Alameda County in California. We have partnered with the Oakland Public Library, Melrose Branch, and the Alameda County Food Bank. To date, we've helped over 5,000 Bay Area residents and given out over 90,000 pounds of food. Afronauts Afronauts is a collective dedicated to bringing exposure to and understanding of indigenous futurism and culture in all its forms. We highlight creative people who are working toward a better future in which we as indigenous people play a part and make a difference. For more info, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Also tune into our blog talk radio show to hear the most thought-provoking conversations about comics, sci-fi, metaphysics, indigenous culture, and activism, all in one place. Edfu Center for Human Spirituality. Our Edfu indigenous ambassadors travel around the world to teach and promote healing and harmony, and have been invited to many places to pray and do ceremonies. We give thanks that through this work, we have been given a voice to help all peoples on Earth understand that connection to Earth and spirit is innate in all of us. We are working to eventually build several centers around the world where we have members and currently support programs. Imagine a place where you can take off the stress of your day, where you can just exist as a human, where you can attune yourself to the universe, where you can walk in a specially designed enclosed garden, become one with yourself, where you can learn about crystals and their properties, where you can meditate at your own pace, where you can find your center. Edfu Foundation is represented by two separate entities in the United States, Edfu Foundation Inc. and the Conservancy Corp. While both organizations work on the same missions, they do so through different strategies. The Conservancy Corp acts as a grant-making organization to provide funding for Edfu Foundation Inc.'s research, 
charitable and public education activities and entities worldwide. The Conservancy Corp is an IRS-registered 501c3 entity. Edfu Foundation Inc. is an advocacy and lobbying organization and is registered as a 501c4 entity. Contributions to Edfu Foundation Inc. are not tax deductible. However, if you would like to make a tax deductible donation, please go to www.theconservancycorp.org forward slash donate.html to view our gift acceptance policy and to donate.